Hey everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead, I'm Aaron. So, on our last video, we got all this cleaned up here. It was the old aviary, grown up in pines, all uh, that built four or five years ago. Um, you know, cleaned out the smokehouse, got these holes filled in, uh, rescued our tomato, our rescue tomato that was growing in there, got it planted inside. So on this video, we're gonna go through, I've got to shore up some places that it rise was so bad in this old smokehouse, you can see there, um well one siding falling off a lot of that's from dogs pulling it out but they pulled it out because you can see this old post here about gone things still solid in the rock i mean you can't shake it but we're gonna go ahead and uh, add some structural supports and add some purlins and maybe another uh another couple uh joists in here uh rafters if you will to support the tin and get this thing all ready for the dogs to stay in when we head out of town for Christmas all right so you can see these uh <coughs> these aren't pretty bad shape but I really don't want to change the look of the old smokehouse Well, it's not perfect, especially if you're right up on it. But from a little few feet away, once it ages a little bit, I think it's gonna be fine. So our next project before we get started on the tin, I was just looking. See how a lot of these uh yeah, actually they're not bad. They're pretty solid. You can see where they're starting to pull away. Uh so probably gonna go through here and just run a couple screws in, put a board inside. Um, to kind of suck everything up so we're going to take another one of our popper boards and just come in here and you can see where I've already started but we're just going to put um, a couple more in here uh, just to be able to pull up the um, pull these outside boards and give them something more solid like over here where you can see they're wanting to come loose so yep we'll get to that What's up everybody so uh i decided i'm just going to put uh just a couple more of these uh rafters in and or trusses i guess technically tactical term and uh use some thicker purlins and then a tin's going to help i mean this thing's pretty solid when that tin gets up there it's going to straighten it up so went looking for my speed square don't know where it is so i was going to show you guys an easier way if you if you're trying to make trusses but you don't have a, uh, a square or you're trying to figure out your angles, you know, with the square, that can be kind of a pain. But since I already have this center beam in here, all I gotta do is take, let's not waste too much board. All I gotta do is take something, especially for this kind of project, relatively straight. I'm gonna mark my line. And it helps since I have Robert down there. Uh, I know it's not going to move on me because if it moves, my mark should be off. I'm going to come down right here and set my board right here. And now, when I cut when I cut both of these these lines, it's going to fit right in between these two uh, two boards like I want. So a lot of times. 
it is always good to measure twice and cut once but there is something to be said about building building to your uh building to whatever structure you're building to a lot of times you don't especially especially on an old house a lot of times you're not going to have uh perfect angles you're not going to have are you robert no. <laughs> he's been he's been learning this he was hanging up he was hanging a bell the other day and he used this little level on his phone and uh <laughs> i was on the phone with him and he hung it on one of the uh posts on the front porch of the old birdhouse he's like talking to me like oh, i'm using my all right got it and he says back he goes oh what it's all crooked i'm like no 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 i'm like take check the level of your post he checked the level of or of, of the front of the post he's like oh okay so <laughs> when you work on an old house remember uh you, you put anything level it, it's not going to work go to whatever the level or the angle of your house is <laughs> that was pretty funny he was so mad <laughs> So, as far as we gotten yet today, about time to uh, grab maybe a little bit of lunch or a uh, quick drink. And I think it's not looking bad for a dog kennel. Not at all. A dog. All right, so we had our coffee break, and you said we're about to start putting tin on here? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you have any? Ten laying around. I got a couple pieces. Couple pieces. I hope it's enough. All right. This is the uh, this is the best family homestead, Old Bird Farm, Ten Emporium, right here. I know, right? Aaron and Robert, the fine purveyors <laughs> of or purveyors of fine tin. Uh, I think we got enough. So what are we doing here? All right. So we're going to look like exactly what I need. Seven foot up on that roof on each side. So these pieces just happen to be 14 feet. So we're gonna stack, uh, I need five across. We're gonna stack five of them up on the saw horses, mark them once, and we're gonna cut all five at the same time.
All right, we got one side done of the Best Family Homestead dog kennel. Man, you did a good job planning out this exact length so the tin fits. I meant for that to happen. Perfectly, I know. When you built it like that five years ago, you pre-planned. I knew, I saw in my mind's eye a hunting camp with free tin. <laughs> That's right. Brilliant. There we go. Well, I must say it's not it's not a beauty queen, but for keeping the dogs for keeping the dogs in the uh, in the dry, I think it'll work. Definitely looked better than it did. I'm already sitting here trying to remember remember what it looked like. You know how that goes. So you get it done. Like, that looks horrible, and then you start thinking about what it looked like before. And you're like, oh, okay, that's not bad. But anyway guys, that's it. Uh, put some new siding, we got screws, uh, or not, we put some new siding on it, got some screws in the old siding, uh, added some some bracing and whatnot to the old part, as well as the newish part. Um, got the tin on there, got some sawdust in. So I think that, I think for a bunch of rescue mongrels, that this is a, pretty fat digs it will work they got inside before uh, I head out for Christmas I want to hang a heat lamp over in a corner and get three or four bags of pine chips uh, and now they'll maybe stay out of the rain because they're so dumb even though they've had that house they will still sit on the porch in the rain instead of going in there so at least this way maybe they'll get out of the rain a little bit probably not probably not i mean i guess i guess they would get out of the rain if it really bothered them but um yeah it makes me feel bad they have the option now <laughs> yeah well, they've I'll always feel, had the option they've always had the option but now <laughs> they have two options yeah they have two options uh, now so so now I'll try not to feel too bad about it. Well, what they want is they want you to go ahead and put a deck in here for I know. them. And <laughs> a deck and yeah, yeah. You know, an AC unit and beds and no, they'll get some probably more, but like three or four big bags, like a couple inches of pine chips in there. And uh, that, they'll just have to live with that. I think it's a dog mansion. Most dogs don't it is a, a dog, dog mansion. mansion. It's nice. Well, I mean, it is. Well, I mean, it's, it's like a, doggy apartment maybe maybe a high-end apartment but yeah. you figure on this side of seven of them out here so but i i dare say seven of them can now fit oh absolutely in the dry <laughs> all right guys well thanks for watching i uh, hope you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and share